guys, it's Alicia. If you're new, welcome to the channel. And if you are a faithful subscriber, welcome home. So you guys, I promised you in my dining room makeover video, you guys, excuse me, I'm a little nasally, just a little bit under the weather, but it's that time of the year. But I promised you in my um, dining room makeover video that I would share with you some of the thrifted items and items that I found on Facebook Marketplace that I thrifted that have a high-end look to them. And if they didn't come with a high-end look, just a few changes gave them that high-end look. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. And I'm going to share with you the items that I thrifted to make my dining room in my living room area over and also want to share with you and give you just a sneak peek of some ideas that I have for bedroom makeover that I'm going to be doing in my bedroom and so without further ado let's okay, get into the first it. The thing I want to share with you are I bought a set of these two um, white lamps. They were I think I paid maybe $20 for the both of them. Um, I did change out the lampshade just adding this white linen lampshade just brought them up a notch. Um, they do have a little, few little chippy edges to them, but like I said, there's two of them that I bought and they add a nice accent to my family room area. And again, thrifted this on a budget, changed out the lampshade to make it look a little more sleek and a little more modern and up to date. And I love the um, different levels on this lamp. And so this was one of my finds that I really liked. Um, a lot. So let's move on to the next. Hey guys, the next, so the next item that I want to show you that I got on Facebook Marketplace are actually these two Tommy Bahama um, rattan chairs. These are heavy, heavy duty um, and I really, really like them. I, the previous owner used them outside and my husband and I brought them home, just gave them a good cleaning. And then of course I changed out the cushion covers on them. Um, they used to be a darker, but I lightened them up and um, just it just brought the whole look up. So there again, um, a, a very affordable item um, that I was able to find on Facebook Marketplace just to bring this living room space up to par. And so I really love these chairs um, and they are awesome. I've actually looked up chairs that are similar to this online and they are upwards um, a couple of thousand dollars. Um, so it just depends you can get them from a few hundred to a couple of thousand so it just depends so really like these chairs a good facebook marketplace find so let's go on to the next i really item. like thrifting accent pieces and i was able to do that with these two faux um trees i really love the pot that they come in it's already like a cement pot that it comes in and then of course we have the faux um olive um, tree um, branches and I was able to get two of them they were $10 a piece already potted and I have to do anything to them I am thinking that I'm gonna come in and where this is great looking I think I want to come in and just paint it a little bit to give it more of a brown look but other than that didn't have to do anything to it and I absolutely love both of them another thing that I'm adding added as a decor piece was this huge candle holder it is huge and it's so heavy you guys let me see um i don't remember what i paid for this um but I, it was just i think it was under ten dollars um but it's a perfect accent piece um to the fireplace both of these are so again these two potted faux olive trees and then the large candle holder. So let's move nice. on to the next. Coffee table books are always a hot commodity and they can be very pricey, it depends on. But I also, thrift stores are the best place to find your coffee table books. I was able to get all three of these at the bookstore and they are usually under $2 um, for them. And um, they are a pretty good size. And so again, coffee table books, um, the thrift store is the best place to find here for books. the family room and I'll just let you get a look over at some of the items that I shared with you and I think those are the main pieces for my most recent finds oh I can't forget this mirror over the fireplace also thrifted that and I think that it was it's a pretty good size mirror and I think I paid oh $10 to $20 for that mirror. So yeah, so that's it. Now let's head over to the dining so room. So you guys know I just made over the dining room area. You guys, if you hear a humming in the background, that's the cat, my cat's water fountain. 
but you guys know I just made over this dining room um, if you missed that video then I'll link it for you in the description box but I want to share with you the items that I found in this space the first thing that I want to share with you are these two beautiful lamps they are like concrete they're like they're they're gorgeous they get in the frame um, Again, I changed out the lampshade and just put this linen lampshade on each of these two lamps. Um, these are the lamps. I love how they come with these little pedestals at the bottom. And the pedestals on each one of the lamps is different, but the lamps are the same. And you guys, I looked up lamps. I did the Google Lens and tried to find lamps that were like these. And I'll insert just a little clip here for you. You guys, they go anywhere from a few hundred dollars to thousand two to three thousand dollars for these type of lamps and I tried to get as close to this one and I'll bring you in closer so you can see this one has these little iridescent little um, spots in them and so when I looked up the iridescent lamps they seem to be a little more pricey um, but these lamps are exactly what I was looking for on this table let me bring you in a little closer so you can see the little iridescent specks in them and when I got them, at first I thought I was going to um, refinish them or like, I really thought that I was just gonna paint them black. But something in my gut said, don't touch them, leave them the way they are because this patina that's on them and these little iridescent, like this is not a mistake, these little iridescent, you know, little spots in them. Um, and so my gut was like, leave them as they are. And I'm so glad I did because you know it just gives a good contrast it's they may look black on camera but they really are like a like a bronzy brownish kind of um, mix between black and bronze you know copper you know something uh, but they're beautiful and I'm glad that I did not change them and I love them just the way they are they're beautiful contrast to this to the black um, buffet and we're gonna get into that because this is another um, Facebook marketplace fine, but yeah. Oh, and I paid twenty dollars each for these mirrors So forty dollars for the two and you guys whether the ones at the lower end that were only uh, You know a hundred dollars or more. I still I think this was a great 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 fine um, And if um, anybody has these mirrors and you know exactly where they're from and what they cost let me know down in the um, in the comments, but let me let, let me bring you in closer so you can get a closer look at what they look like. So guys, this is that iridescent little splotches that they have in them. Let me take you over to see this one. See this one. They have the little iridescent little I love the patina. So yeah, guys, once again, if you know where these mirrors are from, then let me know down in the comments where where they're from and, and what you paid for them. Just interested to so know. So another item that I thrifted, because you guys, you can really bring your home up um, with a, to a designer look on a budget. Like you can, if you get an inspiration picture of something that you love or a look that you're going for, and my inspiration picture, you've seen it, in the last video, but I'll drop a picture of it again. In that video, it was the black buffet with this tall white base. And I was able to find this one at the thrift store. Now, I paid $20 for this and then I got it in the car and I flipped it over and realized that it was from, let me see where it was from again. It's from, um, oh shoot, I can't even read the bottom of it, but it was originally $20 from one of the high-end stores. Um, the tag is still on the bottom of it, but um, it was exactly what I was looking for. I didn't have to do anything to it. I didn't have to find a piece that I wanted to do a makeover on it. So $20 was worth it. I didn't really get a bargain because I basically bought it for what it was worth. But then again, I did thrift it. I was able um, to find it. And you could, if, if this is the look you're going for, you could easily thrift a similar item and then just paint it white. Um, I looked out because this is tall. It's exactly the size I wanted wanted it to be the look that I'm going for and I paid 20 bucks for this at the thrift store so that's awesome 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 so once again here's some more books that I thrifted except for the Joanna <laughs> um, the Magnolia story I, I bought that one but these three 
again I thrifted them and um, thrift store for your for your uh, your coffee table and your side table books so now let's talk about this buffet. okay guys so this buffet oh, I am so in love like this is one of the favorite pieces in my house this was an old dresser that I found on Facebook marketplace I'll insert a picture for you um, I was able to find this piece and then I went in I ordered these legs from Etsy and was able to paint them my husband and I cut off the little lip of a leg that was on this on the bottom we cut all four of them off so that we could easily attach these legs to it then I came in and changed up the hardware after giving it a nice coat of paint in black changed up the hardware here I matched the hardware here to match the bottom pieces that were already on it because I wanted to keep the look of the old pieces um, so we were able to do that and this piece is it just turned out like I said it's one of my favorite pieces I love it love it guys now I want to share with you just a, two or three decor pieces that I also found um, that are can give you that high-end look but are priced like you guys if you go through like I always go in with a purposeful eye like I'm not going in just to get stuff but I'm looking for stuff that stands out and different and one thing that I found that I really love let me guys let me turn you around well let me just show you here I found in my curio this little brass dinner bell and it still works and um, just little pieces like this are just Thomas. I think I paid less than a dollar for that little dinner bell, and I absolutely love it. I love dinner bells because my grandmother used to have dinner bells. Let me turn you around so you can see some so, of the couple another of thing that I found that I really, really love. I love all the pieces in my curio, but I found these little crystal candle holders, and I actually found one and then I went in a completely different antique store and found the other two and I couldn't believe that I found the the rest of the set in two different places um, but I love this the look of crystal it just gives you that high-end look and you just can't go wrong um, with these pieces um, I don't remember exactly what I paid for these but I'm thinking it was under five dollars for all three of the pieces so um, really love those. Something else that I love also is this little teapot. This is actually from Restoration. It's a Restoration hardware piece and it usually comes with a little set because I, I did look it up and um, I paid, I think I still have, yeah, I still have the price tag. I paid $2.99 for this and it's Restoration hardware. So absolutely love that piece and it is a wonderful added piece to my curio cabinet. Okay, so those are the main pieces that I wanted to show you in the two rooms for just thrifted items. Since I just did the makeover, I wanted to show you um, just how you can, you know, thrift some items just to bring your room and give it that high-end look on a budget. And so, again, I'll give you an overview of um, this room. Oh, how can I, you guys, before I go, let's go over here. I can't forget this mirror was a Facebook Marketplace find. And I got this mirror, I think I paid, mm, Lord, I'll have to go back and look. I just did that video. I don't know why I can't remember, but it was, I think it was $35 for this mirror. I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll add it to the screen if I remember. And it was just a brown mirror and I painted it gold. Absolutely love the curves at the top of it and it just gives the room, it just gives it that high-end look. So let me turn you around and let you hey see. guys, so this is the whole room. Got the two lamps, the vase, the books, the buffet. I mean, it just all adds to the beauty of um, the room. It's those little things, the little touches. Let me show you. You know, you wouldn't think something, but that little brass dinner bell just brings warmth to the curio against the black and whites. Um, absolutely love it and then again over here with the crystal candle holders again that touch that bit of crystal in the curio just brings the whole curio up 
tried to balance some other crystal pieces and then the little teapot from Restoration Hardware. So, this here's another overview of the entire room and how it turned out. Okay guys, so I promised you that I would show you those thrifted items and Facebook Marketplace items that I used to um, update my family room and my prayer room. My prayer room, I'm in the prayer room. My family room and my dining room. And so I wanted to share those with you. To but share with you and just give you a little peek at um, design idea that I have for our bedroom. And so I'll try and insert some inspiration pictures just to let you know what I'm going for. But for the bedroom, I am hoping to do like a moody bedroom. Um, I don't want it to be too dark, but I want it to be dark and moody in certain places. And I want to add some pieces to the room that give you that kind of moody um, feel. And so since we were talking about thrifted items, I'm going to show you the biggest thrifted item that I found that's gonna go with this moody look that I'm looking for in my room. So let me turn the camera around so you can see this thrifted piece. It is, it is magnificent. Let me show it to you. This is the piece I wanna show you. It is a waterfall painting and you guys, it is huge. It doesn't, I can't even do it justice here on camera. It is, it is so huge, like it comes up to my chest um, and I'm 5'3", but the detail and the colors in this, I mean, I don't even have to change the frame. We have the, the brownish tones from the rocks. We have the cream color from, from, the, from the water and then we have this darker rock that looks black. And then we have those tones of blues and 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 the whites from the waves and then the golden sky i mean all of these colors this is a very moody picture and it just takes me this is god's creation you guys i mean it's just his 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 handiwork is his his um his artwork and this piece and it has the price tag on the back let me see if i can flip it around for you so this piece was marked down to $129. Now the price before that was torn off. So we know that it was more than $129 that it was marked down for. And you guys, on the day that I found this piece, they were having some type of sale. And I actually ended up getting it for $22. $22. And there was another couple that was there in the store eyeballing it. <laughs> and when I got it, they were like, she got the waterfall picture. I'm like, how could you walk by this and not? I mean, it, it's, it's just gorgeous. And I can't wait to get it in the room. So, all right, let's look at the other items. Hey guys. So I want to share with you now um, some of the thrifted items that I got for the room makeover that I'm going to do. And I don't know if I'll get to my room makeover first because I have a laundry makeover that I'm going to do as well. Um, so I'm not really sure, but I still wanted to just give you guys a little peek today since we're talking about thrifted items. So I want to show you some items that I recently thrifted for this room makeover. And then I'm going to show you some items that I purchased um, that'll go in that room as well. And you can kind of see how the room is coming together. And then I'll put some inspiration picture here for you so you can just kind of see the moodiness that I'm going for. Um, and I won't show you everything that I got for the room, but I will show you these thrifted items and then a couple of other items um, that I got for the room. So anyway, let's start with this candelabra that I picked up, the candle holder. I love, love, love this brass candle holder. It is just, I, I, I really like it a lot. Um, I love the look of it, and I love that it has this little bowl here at the bottom. I love candle holders like this. I know that in the day they were made to catch the wax, but um, I love it because I will not be burning the candle that I put in this, and I will use this to drop my rings or my earrings or my bracelets or, you know, you know, my necklace, whatever, on my dresser at night when I take those off. So I paid $12, and how much did I pay for this? $12, $12 even for this. And so it's nice and heavy and sturdy, and I really like this one a lot. I've seen smaller ones. I don't think I've ever seen one quite this large before, and so I'm glad I got I got that. 
Another thing I got, I have photos in the room, but with the room makeover, I'm gonna need to swap them out for different frames to match what I'm doing in that room. And I picked up this one for $1.99. You can put three different photos in here. And I love the detail of the ornateness here um, around the edges of the mirror and um, mirror. <laughs> the um, photo and frame. So I really, really like it a lot. So got me another picture frame that I got. I got this one for $1.99 again, another brass frame. Love the little legs on it. It's so cute. But I got this one as well. So you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this moody look. And then another thing that I got was this beautiful mirror. And you guys know that these are all the rave right now with the ornate brass gold mirrors and I got this for $28 so I'm going to be adding this to the decor and I absolutely love all of these pieces and then the last thrifted item that I got are books you guys I'm telling you thrift store for your for your books if you can't look at this beautiful palette of book you guys can kind of see where I'm going in this with the theme for this room so I have the greens, I have the blacks, and I have the the tan um, colors. And I love these two because they're both green, but they're two different shades of green. And so um, they give that off. And then I have the black. I love the gold foil writing on the spine of the books. And and then I have this, um, this black one. And you guys, believe it or not, when I'm shopping for books, I usually try and shop for books that have something that I'm gonna read like not just like I really pay attention to what the spine says because it would be crazy for somebody to come in my home and see <laughs> the title of a book something that does not match my lifestyle or my personality uh, <clears throat> so I got these but this one is called um, wonderful counselor a return to faith this is called resurrection this one is the secret supper and it's uh, the the, <laughs> the last supper love this picture on the inside if I could take that out and frame it that would be beautiful and then this one is called seeing Jesus as he really is and then this one is of course the um, it's a Bible dictionary these are all me all my personality and books that I will not mind displaying because they speak to who I am and 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 what I believe in so got these books and oh you guys these books oh my gosh books at the thrift store can be anywhere from three dollars to 50 cent you know it just depends on the book and I always take the cover off to see what the spine looks to see what the book looks like and then if it, but these cup I scored you guys I scored I mean I have these books and candle holders and it I scored all right, so I've shown you the thrifted items for my room. Now I wanna share with you some items that I purchased. And the first thing I wanna show you are these peonies that I that I got from um, Timu. Excuse all the noise, you guys. I should have taken them out of the pack before showing them to you. But look at these peonies. And these leaves, they are so beautiful, you guys. Excuse the noise while I take the other ones out. I just want to show you. Woo! Look at these. Oh my gosh. And when you find just the right base for these, it's going to give you the look you're going for. And all of these colors are in those moody, put that there. All of these are in those moody tones. All of these together. I just think that's so pretty. I just, it's so, so pretty. So you think about these tones with these tones. <laughs> so I purchased these and like, again, I got them, I got them from Timu. And I would link these for you guys, but if you just type in peonies, a Timu, these are gonna come up. There's so many different colors, bundle variations for you. Um, oh, they've got a strong smell. I need to let them air out. But yeah, these, I got these. And so they will go in the room as well. And then I got some um, artwork. And first one that I got is 
um, this photo, it just reminds me <laughs> of these beauties. But I got this, I love the dark, moody background um, against the wooden table. I picked this up at Ross and it was $7.99. And then there was another moody, because you don't see moody everywhere. But then again, I found this beautiful one at Ross for $7.99 too. And then again, I love the, the dark moody background with the light colored flowers. And you guys, I had already ordered these. And then when I saw this photo, I was like, oh, this is, this is coming, this is gonna do it. So again, I found these at Ross. I can't link these for you. And you know, Ross is hit or miss. I always tell you that. It's like, if you see it, get it. I was really surprised when I saw these moody um, photos. Um, and so I grabbed them up right away. But check out your Ross and um, see. So anyways, guys, those are the items that I wanted to share with you. Oh, I'll show you those later because I'm going to be refinishing those. So those are the items that I wanted to share with you. Like I said, there are other things I'm going to incorporate in the room that I'll be showing you later. I have two beautiful lamps that are exactly what I was looking for. Concrete lamps with some detail on them that I will be giving a makeover um that i have i've ordered a new rug for the room that's more of moody moody tone rug for the room um i have the waterfall painting that i have i have a beautiful floor to ceiling mirror huge that i'm going to be bringing over from my mom's that um I'm gonna be bringing that over for my room as well, and I'm excited about that. Also, just to you know, a remind you guys again, go on Pinterest or or you know, just Google um, inspiration for room, whatever you're looking for, and then go thrifting. Look for pieces in the in the in your inspiration photo, the little detail things, the little decor pieces, and then go thrifting and find items that look like it. There may be some that you may have to add a coat of paint to or just do a uh, makeover really you know quickly too um, but you can make your room look really high end on a budget and i always say that i could go out and i could purchase those high end items for you know dollar for dollar but if i can find it at the antique shop or if i can find it thrifting i just get so much joy doing that and it's not because i'm cheap <laughs> it's just that i just love you know doing that i love finding pieces that i can make over myself and make them look nice and so i encourage you to do the same so anyway that's it for this video i know i was a little chatty in this video um i'm gonna try and get all this cold out of me and then we'll get back to doing some more makeovers and um again if you're new i would love it if you would subscribe if you're a subscriber thank you for being so faithful i couldn't do this you guys, I'm now at 9,157 the last time I looked, subscribers, and we are stretching towards 10,000. That's just a goal that I have for this year. So you guys, make sure you comment and in the comment section because that really helps push my videos up in the algorithm and um, it really helps um, the channel out a lot and also, not just commenting, but if you like and if you share a, a video, that really helps me too. So you guys, turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I have, I don't want to speak it because <laughs> I don't want to jinx it, but if you noticed, I've started a pattern of when the videos are coming out. And I hope to keep it that way. Um, and so you guys, yeah, you really help the channel out if you would just, um, Put a comment in the comment section or like the video it'll push me up in the algorithm um, and then hopefully before the end of this year we'll be at that 10,000 subscribers <laughs> i know just to um youtube channels that have hundreds of thousands and millions of subscribers but every one subscriber is near and dear to my heart it just means so much to me and i don't take for granted that you guys tune in to watch the channel so anyway i'm still chatting with that you guys be blessed you guys, don't forget to enjoy all the little things in life. It's the little things that give us the sweetest, prettiest little pleasures. And until next week, we'll see you guys. Bye-bye.